Good evening. A YouTube subscriber had asked me to pronounce the names of the sacred mountains on the Navajo Reservation properly. So there are a total of six sacred mountains. Four of them are the four sacred mountains. And we'll go over them one at a time. The eastern mountain is Sisnajin, Sisnajin, which is Blanca Peak. Now, Sis means belt in Navajo. Najina just describes something with a streak on it. So some people say it means um, belt with a black streak. Now, some people also say that um, Sis could also refer to mountain in the Chippewa language. And some people debate that as Navajos were migrating to this area and they spoke more of a Chippewa dialect, the original term Sis came from that word mountain. So mountain with a black streak. It's debatable. Um, it's kind of hard to know where exactly the word comes from, but currently sis means belt and najine means streak. So that's the eastern mountain, sis najine. Now the mountain to the south, Mount Taylor, is tsonzich. Tsonzich. That's how you say it in Navajo. Now tso means tongue and zich means mountain. So people say it means tongue mountain, tsonzich. Some people say it refers to the beginning of the word sodizin, which is prayer, so it might mean prayer mountain, but again, it's debatable. Now, the eastern mountain is Doko Oslid. Doko Oslid, that's the western mountain. That's located near Flagstaff, and that's San Francisco Peaks. Doko Oslid. The word in itself means the mountain that doesn't thaw on top, or the snow on its peak doesn't thaw off, thaw out. Doko <laughs> Osli, that's the western mountain. Now the mountain to the north is Debensa, Debensa, which is Hesper's peak. Debe means sheep, and Sa means big, so Debensa just means big sheep, and that's the northern mountain, Debensa. And those are the four sacred mountains, Sisna Jinne, which is Blanca Peak to the east, to the south, which is Mount Taylor, and Dokon Oslid, which is um, San Francisco Peaks to the west, and Debensa to the north, which is Hesperus. Now there's two more in the center of the reservation, which is Tzilhna'otihli, which describes something moving around this mountain, Tzilhna'otihli. And people say it refers to the time when the Navajos lived in the original part of the reservation, which is called the Netra. And Tzilhnaotihli is in the center of that. And since people pretty much lived around that area and moved around the mountain a lot, they called it Tzilhnaotihli, the mountain that people move around, Tzilhnaotihli. And according to the stories, that's the original home of um, first men and first woman, Tzilhnaotihli. And then associated with it is um, a mountain called Chol eh -eh. Chol eh -eh. Some people call it Zif Chol eh -eh. Zif Chol eh -eh. Chol eh -eh is supposed to refer to a giant spruce tree. Um, they say it's um, the name for that in the older Navajo dialect. Some people don't really know what it means. Chol eh -eh. And that one is Gobernator Knob, which is kind of located. Uh, northeast of Tzilhna'otihli and Chole is um, supposedly where a cloud had formed on top to which they found changing woman on the top a sanatlehe in some stories in other stories it's yuhke um, in some stories um, a sanatlehe and yuhke issa white shell woman are the same people it's kind of hard to to, we're not going to tease into the details on that. People, when they tell the story, it's different. But anyway, either a sanat lehe, changing woman, or yuhkai essa, was found on top of chol ee, gobernator knob. And from there they brought, um, they say that hashchechtie, talking god, um, brought the baby back and it was raised by first woman, uh, a son at um, Tzilhna'otihli, the mountain people move around. So Tzilhna'otihli is actually, um, I don't think I said what it was, Tzilhna'otihli is um, Guerfano, Guerfano Mesa, which is located 
um, south east of Farmington. And those are the six sacred mountains. And that's how you say them. And again, if you have any questions or you want to make requests on phrases to learn, something we to know, hit me up, ask, and I'll try to make a video on it, all right? Hagoshi, um, that's pretty much going to be it for tonight. And have a good evening. Hagoan there.